All right, here we go. Let's wrap this chapter up here with a little area and perimeter. Love this stuff. Uh, so we've done this before. Just a quick refresher. Uh, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the area around your shape. So if I walk the perimeter, something I add it all up or the fencing around it, you're gonna add it all up. Versus the area is the inside area. So that's what we're talking about today. We're gonna see how that uh, relates to similarity. Should be pretty awesome. Here's one reason it's awesome. Don't write this down. Just sit back, enjoy the show, grab some popcorn. Let's talk about area and perimeter, make sure we're coolio before we actually get in some notes here. So check it out, I got a rectangle, some two triangles. So if I take this rectangle here and I say, okay, that side right there is three, what does that mean? Well, I'm divided into one, two, three parts right there. So you can see my three parts. Uh, and then I, maybe the top is four, so it's a three by four rectangle. We'll check it out, divide it into one, two, three, four parts. So you can check it out, I can see exactly what's going on here. So why is that so cool? Well, what is the area? The area is just all these little squares I made. A three by four has how many? We'll add them all up, boom, 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 add these up. You get 12 of these square areas. So if this is in centimeters, these are what? Centimeters square. That's the key to this. Area is always square because we're talking about a centimeter by a centimeter square like right here, and there's 12 of them. So that's why we label it as in squared. How about perimeter? Perimeter is just if I add up the outside. So if you just count your one, two, three by your one, two, three, four, I'm at seven. Don't forget to keep going. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if I add up all the sides, or this is three, this is four, I'm going to be at 14. And these are just regular centimeters. These are normal uh, just because I'm going straight along. They're not squares, they're just the lines. So that's a quick review of what we're doing for area perimeter. You may have wondered, great, well, how do we find the area of the shortcut? Well, one of the ways we do for uh, rectangles is length times width or base times height. Either one of these work. Three times four is just your area, and then add up all your sides as your perimeter. So, and there's a formula for perimeter. We're just going to add it. Whew, that's a lot of talking. So, what did that mean? Really, we're going to say the area is base times height or length times width. Well, why do we do that? Well, it relates right to the triangle. Check it out. A triangle is actually what? Look at that. It's a rectangle, and it's just half of it. You see how it's half of a rectangle? So for a triangle, we're going to use this one-half base times height. So to do something like this, we're going to say, okay, what is the base? Well, it's the same base as that was over here, right? Four. Same, same, uh, same rectangle. It's just half of it. And then what's the height? Just like the height was three over here, this is your height right here. So what is it? One half base times height or one half three times four. Pretty cool, huh? Perimeter, we're still gonna have to add three plus four is seven plus five is 12, something like that. But now we have a little formula for a triangle. So we haven't done too many triangles this year. I wanted to refresh that. That's easy to see it's half. Is it true for all triangles? Sure, it actually is. Even if it's not like perfectly cut in half, if you take those, and you take that side left over and that side, that is actually half of the rectangle. So it's still the same thing. Maybe I'll throw some dimensions in there, but what is the key? Let me go back here. The key is see how this is the height? Slide that over, this is going to be the height. So we're gonna look for this height right there. That's pretty cool. Womp, oh, womp, womp, there it is. It's the same height. So if I was doing something like that, maybe I have a different base here, but I'm still gonna have, here's my base. Here's my height. I'm gonna do, hey, it's one half the base of this triangle, which is seven times the height of this triangle, which is three. Again, I can do perimeter by adding up four, plus four is eight, plus that, plus seven is 15. But uh, I'm gonna use this one half base times height for that. So that's a quick refresher, don't write that down. That was great. Let's now get into notes. Now you gotta write this stuff down. This will go pretty quick here. Now that we feel pretty good about area and perimeter, let's knock this bad boy out. So. I'm gonna give you a, uh, a rectangle here and I'm gonna ask you to uh, do a scale factor of two. So it's gonna be similar. So before we start, let's even just go ahead and knock out, what is the perimeter of this bad boy? Well, if it's five by seven, this is also gotta be five because it's a rectangle and this has gotta be seven down here. So add them up, what is five plus seven plus five plus seven? It's going to be what, 10 plus 14? It's going to be 24 and again, what's my unit? I'm in centimeters on this one. So it's 24 centimeters, just add them all up. I'm gonna write that here, you don't have to write that down, just so you can see that I went five plus seven plus five plus seven. Walking the perimeter, just walking right around. There it is, just walking around this bad boy here. All right, area is just base times height. 
So uh, you can do five times seven, seven times five doesn't matter. It's a rectangle, base times height is five times seven. So this is 35 centimeters squared. Boom, there it is. So we've got the perimeter, we've got the area. What happens when I take something, not you, get out of here, what are you doing? Let's take this one. If I take this shape, I'm gonna go scale factor of two, so I'm gonna make it twice as big. Well, pow, there it is, twice as big. So let's go ahead, and what happens when I make it twice as big? Well, I get these new dimensions here, so twice as big as five is gonna be what, 10? Twice as, ooh, that's a terrible, can I redo that? That is a rough looking zero. There we go, ooh, that's nice, that's nice. Uh, if I double seven, twice as big as 14, and again, we're still in centimeters here if you wanna label it. And if that side's 10, this side's 10, this is 14. So can I find the new perimeter? Sure, add them up. What is 10 plus 14 plus 10 plus 14? So the whole perimeter will be, what, 24, 34. This is gonna be 48 centimeters. Pretty cool. Maybe you notice something interesting there. Hmm. Okay, now let's do the area. Area of base times height. So we'll go 10 times 14 or 14 times 10. And I'm gonna get 140 when I multiply together. Again, these are centimeters squared. I don't wanna draw those little boxes, but they're in there. So what's cool about this? Do you notice anything interesting? Well, check it out. It went from 24 when I doubled it to 48. So what do you notice here? Oh yeah, that just did the same scale factor. 24 times two is 48. That's pretty cool. So whatever your scale factor is affects your perimeter. Did this double, did 35 turn into 70? No, 35 turned into 40, or I'm sorry, 140. How many times bigger is that? Well, if I take 140 and divide it by 35, it's not twice as big, is it three times? How many times as big? Let's go to the calculator, just so you believe me. I don't want you to think I'm lying here. So if I take 140, divide it by 35, oh, it's four times as big. Interesting, so if I go 35 times four, I'll get 140. So it didn't double, it actually quadrupled. Holy cow, so that's gonna be kinda tricky. Instead of going by times two, so this one went to get to here, I times it just by the scale factor. This one is, time, instead of times in by two, I'm actually times in by two squared. Interesting, because of the square up here, it's actually gonna put a square on my scale factor. That's crazy, let's write that up. No, 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 here, let's go down here. Let's write this up. Oh, I kinda, I don't know if I have enough room here. Let me slide this down here. Ah, slide this guy down too. So, if I wanna fill this part of the notes in. So when I have this ratio of the original perimeter, 24 to 48, it's similar uh, to the, I'm sorry, the ratio of the original perimeter, so 24 is to 48, it's this, it is the same as the scale factor. I, I need to give you a bigger space to write, my B. So it's the same as the scale factor. So if it says double it, double it, triple it, triple it, whatever the scale factor is, it'll be the same for your perimeter. And that makes sense. You're just doubling all the sides. So the perimeter will just be twice as big. What happens though, when I want the ratio of the original area to the similar? So it is the scale factor, the scale factor. Let me write that nice and neat. The scale factor, but it's not the same, it is actually squared. So you actually have to square it because the units are squared, so instead of twice as big, it'll be four times as big. Let's do a couple to let that sink in, because that is tricky. All right, so if I have a rectangle and I know the perimeter, so if I know the perimeter of this rectangle is 30, you can draw a little rectangle if you want, but really the key is the perimeter of this thing is 30, and I'm gonna scale it up by a factor of three, so it's gonna get three times bigger. What's my new perimeter gonna be? Well, the new perimeter will also be three times bigger. So if it was 30, it now turns into 90, it is three times bigger, that, phew, there is my new perimeter. So when it's just perimeter, I'm gonna take that scale factor and say, oh yeah, it's just 30 times three. Just like the sides get three times bigger, the perimeter gets three times bigger. Is that true for area though? All right, let's do it now with area. So again, we can draw our little rectangle here, something like this maybe, and I know the area is 20. So. I'm gonna scale this rectangle up by a scale factor of three, so check it out. I'm gonna make it three times as big. Holy cow, something like this. Woo, I hope that fits in there. So check it out. What is the area of this new one? Well, if I did it right, this is gonna be kind of weird, but there's actually, there's actually these rectangles are gonna be in here. So if it's three times as big, 
it's going to look something like this. Check out what happened to my area. So if this was the side, there's one, two, three of them. But how many of these new boxes are in there? There's actually nine boxes in here. So there's nine of these areas. So there's nine of these 20s. Or the shortcut or whatever the rule is, we said, oh yeah, the scale factor is 20, but it's not times three, it's times three squared. So we haven't done a lot of exponents this year at all, but squared's nice and, and, and easy for us. It's just, what does squared mean? It's just three times three. So we're only gonna be talking about squares. So it's 20 times three times three, or it's just 20 times nine. So instead of times it by three, I'm gonna square this three and say, hey, this is actually 180 centimeters squared. So think about that. This one's 20. These are all 20. There's nine of them instead of just three of them. So perimeter didn't care. Perimeter was cool, uh, but the area is a little bit different. Rock and roll. Last one. Let's just end on a triangle and make sure we're coolio here. Uh, if you want to try this one on your own, you're more than welcome to. I'm just going to power through. So we're not going to do perimeter. We're just going to do area. I just want to make sure we're cool with this one half base times height because we haven't really been using it this year. Let's get into it now. We're going to we're gonna get some triangles here. So here's the base right here. Whoosh, here's the height. Remember, it makes this 90 degree angle. If you ever see this little box, that means that right 90 degree angle. Uh, we're just going to go 1 half base times height, 12 times 5. So we can say multiply this bad boy out. What is half of 12? It's 6. 6 times 5 is 30. This is going to be 30 feet. And again, we're talking area. It's got to be squared. Whoops, there you go. Awesome, very nice. Um, what if I go ahead and do some kind of scale factor? Now, this is gonna be weird. Let's cut this bad boy into force. Oh my goodness, scale factor of one fourth. What in the world does that mean? Let's see if this is, can I drag this? Yes, hook it up. So there's, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna shrink it so it's one fourth the size. So it's teeny tiny here, it got smaller. So can I make, um, can I make the new height and the new base? Sure, I'm just gonna say, okay, what is 12 times 1 fourth? So 1 fourth of 12 equals what? And then I'm gonna go five times 1 fourth. So I need these new dimensions. Well, 12 divided by four is three. Five divided by four, I'm gonna go ahead and put it as a decimal, is 1.25. So I've got these new height and this new um, base here. So I just scaled it down. Now you may already know the answer. Uh, you maybe I'll go from this. If you go from here to here, I'm just going to go ahead and find it, make sure we're cool. So again, I'm going to do one half base times height. So one half base times height. And in this case, what is my uh, base? Well, it changed. My base went from 12 to 3, and my height turned into 1.25. Awesome. So what is this new area over here? Well, let's go to the calculator. And I'm going to say, let's slide. Ah, can I slide over so you can see what's going on here? I'm going to say 1 half, so I'm going to go 0.5 for my 1 half, times it by 3, and times it by 1.25. So my new area is 1.875, so it really shrank, 1.875 feet squared. There is my new area. Would it have been possible to go straight from here to here? Sure, if you knew this, remember my scale factor is 1 fourth, it's just super weird but it's okay, you can do it. I'm gonna take my 30, times it by my scale factor of 1 fourth, but this whole thing is squared. So what in the world is 1 fourth times 1 fourth? Don't freak out. I know a lot of people freak out when they start dealing with these fractions. It's just 1 fourth times 1 fourth. Well, what is 1 fourth times 1 fourth? It is 1 16th. So it is four times four is 16. It's 30 times 1 16th. So if you wanted to, you could have typed that in. If I was just talking about area, it's 30 times 1 fourth, and you can even you know, put in this if you want, or you can use 0.25 is the same thing, or the 1 16th, whatever. See how I get the same answer? I could have gone directly there to 1.875. It's the same thing. We are cool, we are good to go. So I just wanna show you that it works for scaling up or scaling down. It's kind of weird, but that area is really gonna shrink. It's not, you can't just divide it by four, you gotta divide it by four, divide it by four, if that makes sense. So you're squaring it, so maybe that's the easier way to think about it. Is really you're just taking 30, ah, you're taking 30, and you're dividing it by four because you're scaling down. But then you're dividing by four again because it's squared. So it's a double down. Woo! I love it. There it is right there. That's area and perimeter. Talking about similar figures. 
Good luck on the practice. Good luck on the master check. Peace 